Hello and welcome back once again to Everyday Ordinary Life with Mark. We are during a time of special emphasis on the book, The Ordinary Way, and some of you are doing this in your life groups and some doing this on your own. And I am so glad that we're part of this journey together uh, through The Ordinary Way. This is a book that has been monumental in our understanding of how to live out that wonderful verse well known to many of us, Romans chapter 12, verse one, where, where God calls us to actually give every bit of ourselves uh, to God in everything that we do. So we're gonna explore that a little bit more today and I look forward to doing so. As I said, we're going to be digging in again uh, to the ordinary way. This time we're going to be talking about the week four and the unique thing about this week is that, as you know, we're talking a lot about the ordinary things. But as we know, there are things in this world that aren't ordinary. There are things that are on either side of ordinary, we could say. There are your less than ordinary moments and there are your extraordinary moments. And when I use those words, what I mean by them is this, that there is ordinary, which is the most of the time parts of our lives. Those, those parts that are a mixture of, uh, of really wonderful days and, and so-so days, but it's within this realm of day-to-day -day life. We have some victories along the way, we have some defeats along the way, uh, but it's just pretty much normal for us, our own individual normal, our own ordinary. But we also experience those things on the, the bookends. We experience those less than ordinary days or the, the less than normal days, those days that are, are disappointing to us, those days that are painful to us. We need to know how do we handle those days. And then, particularly for those of you who, who struggle with the word ordinary, you may do so because you think of the extraordinary things in life, those great victories, or if you're a super competitive person, uh, you may think, well, ordinary is not good enough. Well, pay attention, particularly during these sections where we talk about extraordinary. What do we do with extraordinary moments in life? The, the Super Bowl wins, or uh, the valedictorian achievements, or the first place prize. We, we are not called to not strive for those. We are not called to look down upon those. We are to embrace those and be excited in those moments, but we need to understand how does extraordinary and how does less than ordinary fit into our everyday ordinary. And so those are going to be some focuses for us uh, during this week's journey. Along those lines, through that, we're going to see a couple of aspects that are super important and that is the idea of the support uh, that we need from one another and from ourselves. That You need to not be too much of a critic on yourself in less than ordinary moments and you need not be boastful too much in the extraordinary moments of your life. But also how does that do that in community? How do we support one another during those less than ordinary moments? And how do we celebrate in a healthy way with people who achieve amazing things? Because hear me again, when we're talking about ordinary, we're not talking about ho-hum. We're not talking about, let's just settle for okay. What we're saying is most of us live in a realm of life which is ordinary, which is not exceptional. Most of us aren't front page people and most of us, thank God, are not living in places of utter despair day in and day out. But we have moments of both. And we need to know how to live that out. And so join me in this journey as we continue to figure out what it is to live our ordinary without neglecting the extraordinary and without ignoring the less than ordinary. Enjoy your study. And again, please know that if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you. Have a wonderful study if you're in the group and just have a wonderful week, all of you. Thanks again.